Da-doosh. How's it everybody? Today we got a uh, slightly different video from what we normally do. Kind of a little experiment. What we got is basically it's just going to be a simple line strength test. So what I have is some uh, Cast Pro braided fishing line. You might be wondering what I'm doing soaking this. Um, that's for an up and coming video. The Cast Pro fishing line comes on what they call a bio spool, which is a biodegradable spool. So I uh, might be able to kind of figure out what I'm doing here based on that. But that video will be coming out eventually. We'll see how that goes. Got some line here. It's the Cast Pro line, Cast King's newest and best fishing line. I've soaked it for a while, about five minutes, so it's nice and wet. And I'm just gonna do a very simple line strength break test. By no means, is this strictly scientific? This is basically for fun. I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but we're going to find out together. Okay, so what's going on here? Got it. It's a simple barbell. Um, this weighs two and a half pounds. Each of these plates weighs two and a half pounds. I have two Mondo hooks here that I'll be tying the braid to. I'll use this to suspend this in some sort of way. Part of the issue I was having is figuring out exactly how I want to hang the barbells but hooks are going to work and then on the other side i'm going to use the hammer hold it up and then just add weight until this thing goes bust i'm going to use just a super simple improved clinch knot i'm sure there's you know better knots out there for this but i'm just jamming it so improved clinch knot it is i've been using this braid on my whipping rig lately which for those of you out there that don't know is a style of fishing in hawaii which basically is lure fishing with uh, soft bodied baits. You send out the bait, you reel it back in real quick, you do that over and over again, it's called whipping. Okay, that's one half, tie this other hook on. I've had that bio spool soaking, which is something I'm super stoked about. Um, the fact that the spool on that is biodegradable is, in my opinion, pretty innovative. I haven't seen that anywhere else yet. It's made out of a type of wheat protein I believe that is uh, will degrade in the environment even landfill so say if you blew it oops I dropped my spool well you don't have to worry too much because it's going to degrade and if it's in a landfill it's not going to be there for all eternity like most plastic will plastic may break down into smaller particles but it's always going to be plastic whereas this will be eaten up by some microbes or something all right you got this tied up Improved clinch knot, both ends, 15 pound cast pro braid. Start them off light, make sure I'm not blowing it. This is two and a half, five, for balance sake. Throw that one on there too. That is seven and a half pounds. Uh, roughly half of the, well, exactly half of the uh, rated test for this line. Again, I have this line wet because then you're never going to be fishing with dry fishing line yeah and from what i understand when you have things wet it actually weakens the line slightly okay you know i can just hold this i don't even need the hammer here we go i'm a little worried about this knot if it slips out because of how wide this hook is i'll just put a snap swivel or something on there out and i just got bit by an ant seven and a half pounds let's go Okay, good sign in my opinion. Holding strong, right on. Again, this is not, you know, by any means super scientific, but it's kind of fun and gets the point across. Add some more weight. All right, two and a half pound bar, 10 pounds of weights, 12.5 pounds. Coming up. Ooh, was that a slip on the knot? Yeah, that was right on the knot. Okay. What I'm gonna do is get another piece of line. I'm gonna tie some snap swivels onto this and I'll, tie, I'll use the snap swivels to hook to the hooks instead of just a line. We'll see how that does. Okay, it took me a minute to find some snap swivels that were big enough for these hooks, but got them. Wet line. If it breaks at the knot again, what I'm gonna do is try a totally different knot. Set up, round two, coming in. 12 and a half pounds on the 15 pound. Oh! She broke. At the knot again. 
Okay, so for this one, I tried something different. I did it as a normal improved clinch knot here. And then on this side, I put a clinch knot with a just an overhand on the top. And it broke that overhand at the top. So what I'm gonna do, cut this, tie them back on. All right, round three, 12 and a half pounds. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. Improved clinch knot without the overhand. With uh, swivels, oh, a couple bounces and it broke though, so that's pretty expected. When you're using something like 12 pounds of dead weight, the way this test should be done is more of like a static hanging that slowly gets heavier. Because what I'm doing when I'm lifting up, the acceleration causes the weight to be far more than 12 pounds. It's probably more like, well, I could do it with I remember my physics from college. But trust me on that. When you pull something up, that initial acceleration causes a lot more stress on the line than just a static 12 pound platform would. If it was just holding there at 12 pounds, it'd be different than uh, what I just did was give it a little shake. That acceleration and change in speed of the 12 pound weight causes the stress on the line to be a lot more than 12 pounds. Okay, what I'm gonna do is just throw that improved clinch knot back on here again. I'm gonna crank this up to 15 pounds and I'm going to slowly pick it up. Try to accelerate things as slowly as I can to make that change in weight as minimal as possible. I added one more plate, so now I have 12 and a half pounds of plate, the two and a half pound little bar, 15 pounds total, getting bit by another ant, that's sick. I'm gonna slowly pick this up. Oh, ooh, well it picked it up for a second. It means it put 15 pounds of pressure on it for at least a second. I'm gonna do one more time, guys. I'm gonna change out this line for some brand new line. Let it soak for a minute, tie it up, and then pick this up super slow style one more time. I'm gonna make a follow-up video to this, and uh, this is where I'm gonna ask your help. What is your favorite knot for braided line? Drop that in the comments. I'm gonna take a selection of what you guys say. I'm gonna do kind of like a similar test of this where I'll just test out different knots on a, some braided line and see uh, if there's a clear one that breaks every time, one that stays strong every time. So let me know what your favorite knot is for braided line. Help me become a better fisherman and make a sick little another test video. That'd be pretty fun. What I'll do for that next video too, I'm gonna figure out a way to improve what I'm doing right here. Using the whole pick up the barbell method is pretty, just showing me that it's not very smart. Maybe I should tie it right to the barbell. Having it on here like this is obviously, things are shaking around and moving and when I pick it up, things are jerking a bit, causing things to probably break a little more. I'm just gonna pick this one up with one hand and then lower this one slowly see if i can get it to not throw the hook right into my face bango okay I, oh okay i held it for a second <laughs> held 15 pounds for at least a second <laughs> wet line let me know what you think of this very precise and scientific method of jerky fish hooks and barbells you know what just for fun I'm gonna retie this with a polymer knot on each side. I switched that knot. Instead of the improved clinch knot, I got a polymer knot on each side. Last time, guys, I promise. I'm gonna hold this. Slowly add weight, not smash my scissors down there. Two polymer knots. Boom, broke. Oh, ho. Oh. That time the snap swivel totally, ex where did it even go? All right, well that was definitely the last time. Snap swivel exploded. Oh, here it is. Ugh. Well, broke at the knot again. Interesting. What conclusions can we gleam from this not so 
precise testing method of the double giant hook shaka test. Basically it held up 50 pounds even if it was for a slight moment. The fact that I'm a little bit jerky when I'm picking it up means that it technically held over 15 pounds and uh, what gives me a little bit above that comfort is that it always, every single time it broke with the knot which means that the line itself didn't give out so much as the knot created a stress point on the line that caused it to break. So again, that is where I'm asking some of you to come in, give me your number one knots for braided line. I'm gonna do another follow-up to this test on, oh yeah, you know what happened? That, uh, this is what happened. This thing just folded open when I was picking that up and then caused a big old jerk and yep, broke. Anyway, I guess I lost two swivels doing this. Let me know your knots. My personal conclusion is that this line definitely can, it's rated for 15 pounds. It held up 15 pounds and it always broke with a knot, meaning that the line itself can at least hold 15 pounds. Uh, give me your ideas for a better testing method too because this is not the most, you know, precise thing. Something where I could, lower it oh, anyway in conclusion cast pro 15 pound braided line wet not dry that's a, some things sometimes uh i've seen tests out there where it's always dry when it's wet the conditions are more harsh on the line so if it can handle 15 pounds wet i'm confident that it works well let me know your thoughts everybody thanks for watching see you in the next one Da-douche.